First of all, you are welcome to Nepal and welcome to my television show. Thank you very much. I know the history that within a 15 years time, you are you already served more than 15,000 Nepalese students. They are, mm. Some of them are graduated and recently, I mean, current statistics shows that around 2,000 Nepalese students are studying That's at right. your university. Um, can you uh, tell us something about your short experience visiting here in Nepal? Well, one of the main reasons I'm here in Nepal is to see Nepal, which is our most important uh, source of international students. Uh, the largest number of our international students uh, are from Nepal. Uh, we view them as exceptionally qualified and effective. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to come to Nepal so I could see where they came from. I see them graduate. I wanted to see where they came from uh, and to talk to the people who we work with in Nepal uh, in recruiting our students. So in many way, ways, this is a, a visit of thanks rather than a visit of Great. recruitment. Have you done any kind of collaborations with the existing university here in Nepal? Well, that, that's one of the reasons we want to see it. So one of the things we want to do is we want to make sure that we're giving back to Nepal. Now, one of the things we did was that in 2008, we sent a, uh, a team, a group of early childhood educators oh, yes. to work in a Nepalese school. it is school. quite popular um, term, which is called New Colombo Plan or something. That's right. Yes. So the Australian New Colombo Plan New Colombo. facilitates Australian universities in sending their students for overseas experience. Uh, we want to do more of that in Nepal, oh. uh, and we want to do it in a way that gives value to both sides. Exactly. Uh, the other thing that we are interested, and I know my colleagues are working on, uh, is exchanges with the universities in Nepal, uh, and we want to send our academics also on exchange, because this is a region of enormous importance uh, to Australia. You know, we have campuses all over Australia. We have a campus in Rome, uh, but it's very important that our academics understand this region uh, even Asia is such a big region yes. that we are almost neighbours, sure. even though we're far away. Though you have around 42 universities, but ECU has been quite popular in Nepal, especially for the nursing or healthcare related courses. Of course, mm -hmm. all universities might have their own specific features, but uh, in your opinion, why ECU is quite popular for the um, not only Nepalese students from Asian regions like India, um, you know, why and what are the attractions um, that you are offering to the international students? Well, one thing about ACU is that we're an unusual university. We're probably Australia's only national university. So we have campuses in Brisbane and in Melbourne and in Sydney. Uh, and the result is that people can live in different places. Uh, but another thing is that we're extremely good at certain courses. So mm -hmm. we would be the largest producer of health professionals, whether they were nurses or physiotherapists or speech therapists in Australia. Uh, and that's one of the things we specialise in. Uh, and our experience is that students from Nepal are frequently very, very interested in uh, careers in health. And I think that's a major reason why students from Nepal come from us. Now I have to say too, that in the health professions, in the hospitals we work with, and we have many connections with hospitals. Uh, students from Nepal are enormously prized, uh, not only because they're intelligent, uh, but because they have an ethos of care, uh, that they are students who come from a country and a culture that cares for people who are sick or elderly. And I have to say that young Australians do not necessarily have the same commitment as that. So Nepalese students in the health profession are highly prized. We are recently back from Australia and through this television we already featured more than 30 universities out of 42 in Australia. Um, when we interacted with the Nepalese students and community in Australia, mostly they are happy. But last year one incident happened about AIVT. People started generalizing Australia, you know, but there is of course differences between like reputed universities and small colleges. Would you like to say anything? Yes, I think the first thing to say it's incredibly important uh, for universities or anyone else. It's not just a question of recruiting students. That's only the start. The question is what sort of life exactly. do you give them in Australia? So from our point of view, it would be completely unethical to recruit a student and then not to support them. So mm -hmm. we're very, very careful through our student life, uh, through our international office to make sure 
that we support our students. I'm very conscious of it. If any student emails me as vice chancellor, I will make sure that even though I've got 36,000 students, yes. I will get back to them directly. Uh, the truth is, I think that all 42 Australian universities have a strong ethic of care. And I think that parents, particularly parents who worry, uh, can be very, very assured of that in respect of Australian universities. I think if there is a problem, when a problem comes up, it typically comes up among smaller private colleges. Mm -hmm. uh, and certainly I think the best student experience in Australia is with the public universities, whether exactly. that's ACU mm -hmm. or another university. Exactly. Your, your children are your most precious assets. Obviously. Therefore, you must send them to the best places. I think they have to do some sort of homework before choosing. I think that's any, right. And yes. in, the, in, the, in the, the age of the internet and other exactly. things, it's much easier to get a, a sense of it. As I say, because so many students from Nepal want to do health, um, ACU is a very, very natural fit for them. Um, but again, it's not just that they want to do health, uh, their success rates are extremely good. Their success rates are often higher uh, than Australian students. Their employment rates, if they wish to get employment in Australia, are high. Uh, it's a very good place and it's a very good profession uh, to be engaged in. What is the fundamental thing that you are offering uh, for the uh, students, you know, in terms of quality, so that Nepal can learn? I think we offer two things. One is that uh, in, for example, health degrees, and we recruit students into business degrees yes. too, uh, but we are the largest university uh, for health courses in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, we have massive research that sits behind uh, our teaching. Uh, we have an absolute commitment to quality of teaching and we're always thinking of different ways to try to teach. And I think one of the most important things is that in so many careers now, mm -hmm. um, it's not just the bit where you go to university that's important. Yes. It's where your university finds places for you mm -hmm. to do practical learning as part of your degree. So for a health graduate, that would be in a hospital. For a business graduate, that would be with a firm. Uh, now, we are exceptionally good uh, at finding those types of placements. We have excellent connections with hospitals, with healthcare services. We have clinical schools okay. in hospitals where people are educated in the hospital as well as the university. Now, that's the type of quality of education you need to have. And the truth is you can only get that really from a significantly large university with the types of strategic partnership. Uh, do you have any thought in your mind that um, the expertise that you have um, and the expertise we are looking for from Nepal side, uh, you know, can match together, you know, so that like uh, yes. your expertise will help to grow a Nepali um, education system also? No, that's right. So if you look at our health graduates, our health graduates are all around the world uh, and we have large numbers of different degrees. Uh, for example, they can range even, even in nursing from a nursing degree to a master's yes. in health management. Uh, so we have uh, students of ours who are running hospitals in China. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, we have students who are running hospitals around the world. Great. Um, so we train not only to have wonderful professionals in what they can do, but we're also training leaders. Okay. And beyond that, we're forming people's minds. Uh, we are in a university, it's not just what you teach in terms of content, it's how you teach people to exactly. think. Exactly. Uh, and that's very much our tradition. And if you think of it as a Catholic university, there are, I think, 2,000 Catholic universities in the world. Yes. Uh, we're in the top eight oh, with universities like Notre Dame and Georgetown. That tradition of thought and applying thought and rigorous thought, including rigorous examination processes, which is incredibly important with us, and rigorous review of courses, so that every few years we update our courses, the integration of science, the integration of technology, all of that plus the formation of a person's commitment, that's quality of education. Of course, Australian education is not so cheap.
um, so many Australian universities have started their own campuses like in Monash he started in yes. Malaysia Victoria University started in India and in Nepal we have around 10 universities um, gave affiliation of you know they, they have affiliate college in Kathmandu in Nepal so in future do you have any kind of um, thought that you have in your mind to give more leverage to the international students because Australian education is quite popular ACU yes. education is quite popular in our territory yes the Australian universities are popular yeah they are expensive in the sense that they cost yes. a significant amount of money. They're not as expensive as you know, yes. as the US colleges exactly. or the exactly. United Kingdom, which is yeah. good. Yeah. Um, we would give consideration to partnerships uh, in Nepal uh, with colleges. I don't think we have a plan to build a campus, and the reason for that is that if you build a campus, you can wall yourself off obviously. from the local community obviously so you have to be very careful and i exactly. think partnerships typically are much better and we do have partnerships exactly we could extend those the other thing you have to be careful about too is that if you're giving a person an australian education there is an advantage in being in australia because you have that yeah. bicultural obviously experience exactly. so it's a question of working out what basket of types of courses uh, and experiences and partnerships you'd have. Mm -hmm. uh, but partnerships in Nepal, I think, would be the way that we it's would go. Start with I, I worry about overseas universities coming into ancient cultures, exactly. whether it's Nepal or India or Vietnam, and saying, we've got all the answers. Yes. You know, come out and do it. So I, I think partnerships is the way to go. That is the best way. Of course, Nepali students uh, have choices. The UK has recently come up with the policy yes. of PSW and US is always I mean a, a good brand for Nepali students and Australia number one at this point of time any any messages to those um, students and parents who are watching you on television yes well, look we, we would obviously encourage students um, I recently sat through two graduations in Sydney oh, uh, and in those two graduations I think we would have graduated uh, 200 maybe, Nepalese students, Great. mainly in health. One of the things you wonder about a country when you first come here is are the people friendly? I already know that people from Nepal are friendly because they're my students. Uh, and I know how well they work uh, in hospitals and other areas, whether it's finance. I know the quality of those students. And I guess the thing that I would be saying to your viewers is this, um, for a lot of universities, they take students from China, they yeah. take students from India, yeah. and Nepal is an add-on thought. Mm. Nepal is our number one it's international hard. student partner, not only in numbers, but important. Okay. Nepal is more important to me mm -hmm. uh, than anywhere else. We've been in this with Nepal for 15 years. I want to think how we're going to give back to Nepal. Exactly. And that's my message. If you that's send great. students to us, uh, we'll not only teach them, but we'll love them. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for your Thank you. valuable time and have a great day stay in the country. Thank you.